A first look at the Redmi K30 phones, massive changes this time around from Redmi and also the addition of 5G too. Let's see what they've got in store for us. Hands on with the Redmi K30 and there are a lot of changes in this phone over the K20 series, but all of them were done with the user in mind. So the Redmi K30 this time around has two versions that have been released today at least, a 4G version with the Snapdragon 730G and a 5G version with the Snapdragon 765G. Both of the models carry a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. The 4G version has 27 watt fast charging. The 5G version steps that up to 30 watts. They both carry a brand new main camera sensor, the Sony IMX686 which measures in at 64 megapixels. Redmi have taken a big step with the screens here. The Redmi K20 series had OLED displays and the Redmi K30 series, at least these two phones, have LCD displays. It might sound like a huge step backwards, but when you hear the inclusion of 120 hertz refresh rates, you forgive Redmi for using LCD. The other huge change on the Redmi K30 phones is the hole punch display. The screens measure 6.67 inches and have a 20 by nine aspect ratio. That means the cutout just fits at the top of the phone in the notification bar. Redmi also say that the screen to body ratio is 91%, but no under screen fingerprint sensors on this one like we got on the K20 series, they've moved it to the side. I actually personally really like the side mounted fingerprint sensor, so I've got no issues with that choice. Face unlocking is also going to be much quicker than the K20 series because you don't have a pop-up camera. They have kept the headphone jack and they have changed the design of the speaker down at the bottom. All in all, a huge design change from the K20 series. Keep watching if you want to see a quick side-by-side -side at the end of this video. To be honest, I think the bottom bezel is a little bit bigger than the K20 series. That's probably got a lot to do with it being an LCD display, but the phone is bigger and taller. And to be honest, Redmi had to make some sacrifices here to give us what is an incredibly low price for both the 4 and 5G versions. I'm literally shocked at how cheap the 5G version is. Along with the Sony IMX686 on the 5G version, you get a five megapixel, what Xiaomi call portrait lens, an eight megapixel ultra wide, and a two megapixel macro sensor too. On the 4G version, that five megapixel portrait lens changes to a two megapixel lens. Absolutely impossible to test the camera out until we get one in for some real testing. So subscribe if you want to see the camera test versus the competitors because that will be coming very soon. The front camera is 20 megapixels and the secondary camera is not an ultra wide. In fact, it's a time of flight sensor. Compared to the Redmi K20 Pro, it is just a completely different beast. It's bigger, it's taller. You just get so much more phone. These size considerations had to happen because of the LCD display, the extra tech, the bigger, thicker tech that has gone inside the phone. Yes, OLEDs are technically better and have higher contrast ratios than LCDs, but you can see them side by side for yourself and decide if it's a big issue for you or not. Redmi went and did it. They gave us 120 hertz refresh rates in such a cheap phone. The price absolutely knocked my socks off. This is a 5G phone with 120 hertz refresh rates. There are some compromises here and there that Xiaomi made, but giving us this power for this price, I think a lot of people will be happy with the setup that Redmi have given us this time around. Subscribe for all the latest tech news, unboxings, hands-ons, and all the K30 tests. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.